This is a hardware diagnostics interface for the ZX Spectrum. Its function is to measure and present data which describes the state of the Spectrum's hardware. It can tell you quite a bit about the condition of the Spectrum. It's based on two Raspberry Pi Picos which cycle through a set of tests. The tests are presented in pages on the OLED screen. When you power the Spectrum up, the device starts off showing the Spectrum's voltages as measured on the rear edge connector. It measures the 5V supply, the 12V supply and the minus 5V supply, both constantly updating and averages. The second page runs some tests on the ULA. It can't test the whole ULA from the rear edge connector, but it can test the clocks that the ULA generates. It shows the frequency of the interrupt clock, which should be 50 Hz, uh, the frequency of the main CPU clock, which should be 3.5 MHz, and the frequency of the main clock when the lower memory is contended. The contended clock will be slightly slower than the uncontended clock, and it varies as you press keys or make the spectrum do things with lower memory. The next page runs some tests on the Z80. It's looking for transitions on some of the Z80 signals which should be active as the spectrum runs. It shows memory request, IO request, read, write, and M1. The next two pages look at the data and address buses, watching for transitions on the signals. If any of the lines are stuck, either high or low, they'll show up here. Faulty memory chips have a tendency to hold a line high or low, as can solder bridges caused by splashes or bodged repairs. The final page tests whether the code in the ROM appears to be running correctly. It allows the Spectrum to start up and analyses the addresses the Z80 asks for. That's a predictable sequence, so it can tell if the Z80 is moving through the program in ROM correctly. As of version 1, the interface then cycles back to the voltages screen. There are an awful lot more analyses and tests that could be run, it's just a matter of programming the PCOs to do it. I don't have a whole pile of faulty spectrums with which to demonstrate this interface. I've tested it by breaking my spectrums at internal points, then fixing them. But I can show you this, it's my Issue 2 machine, which works, but is running with a modern lower memory module. The minus 5 volt supply on this machine is broken, and that's correctly detected by this hardware. This is another machine. This one came from eBay. As I run the tests, I can see it's got a faulty 12 volt supply, but it hasn't had a composite mod, so I can't see the screen. And when I received it, I had no idea what overall state it's in. As the tests run, I can see it looks quite promising. The ULA is good. The Z80 is good, including the M1 signal. The buses look OK. And the ROM code appears to be running correctly. So I'll fix the 12 volts on this one and then run a RAM tester on it. It looks reasonably promising. So that's a demonstration of version 1 of this interface. If anyone thinks they might find it useful, the design and code is all open and there's a link in the description.